welcome. Welcome, welcome to your romantic tarot. This is energies around love, romance, and sex for each zodiac sign by zodiac sign. So the timestamps will be below in the description box as well as pinned to a comment. So whether you're on mobile or you're on um, your computer screen, you'll be able to access it from both places in the description box as well. There is going to be a link to an extended. So this here, we're gonna look at the energies, energies per zodiac sign that are coming in for love, romance, and sex out to next weekend, like starting at next weekend because the last Romantic Tarot was up to next weekend into this week. So I always do it out. So these are the energies for this coming weekend between this coming weekend and the weekend after. That kind of thing, all that kind of, it's just a little bit of a, um, a forward thinking, more insight into uh, your love and romance for each zodiac sign. But then the extended is also who's coming towards you. So that's, that's below, the link to that is below. Who is coming towards you? Who, what their zodiac sign is? What color hair they have? If I could get some features on them, what kind of characteristics do they have? You know, the what, where, when, why, and who? Who, baby, who? We're gonna start at the zodiac sign of Scorpio and we're gonna move through. And yes, I do take my timestamps. You're gonna see me writing them down it just works for me this way. I have already shuffled the cards. For this reading, I don't shuffle online. I pre-shuffled, I've pre-cleansed, I've sound cleansed with low and high tones so the vibrations are all clear, high and low, right? The clouds, the, the clouds, oh, the cards are waiting for us to delve in and dig into, get some insights into love and romance. Now the love and romance reading over here on YouTube could stand for singles or couples because it's an energy of what's going to happen, what's going off this coming weekend, right? Um, but the who's coming towards you, I do have to say, sometimes messages come up for couples, but most of the time it's like, who's interested in who's coming towards you? Listen, I, I, this is not a, this is a no judgment zone. So if you are in a relationship but you still want to know who could else be out there else could be out there the link is below it'll help you know <laughs> inquiring minds inquiring minds i don't need to know your business here we go scorpio we're gonna start at 242 scorpio this is all about you and your libido baby let's do this Nothing will come of this situation, void of course. You know, that's interesting. And I could be speaking to a whole other group of Scorpios. But this is an interesting, this is an interesting card to get. You may be saying goodbye. You may be closing up a relationship. You may be at the last leg of it. Or if you've begun a new relationship, it wasn't meant to last long. But there's a sense of something being over that this situation is not going to keep continuing. Now, for some of you, that could be a good thing. Why? Because you may be in a situation that you don't, you want to end. It could also be that you have to talk to them about something. You know, you, you have to speak to them about something or um, the situation is your relationship, in your relationship that has been bothering you. You, you, you gotta get it off your chest. You, you, it, it's, it can't go on. But I really feel for most of you, this is a scenario of, Nothing's going to really come from this. You know, if you're single, um, it could just be passing. It could just be hookups, right, for right now. Long term, not really. Or, or if you're single, depending on what this other card is, let's see. It could be that you're not going to be single long. But the situation, the circumstance that you're in right now is not going to last much longer. So if you're in a long-standing relationship, there is a sense of it... If, look, if you're in a happy relationship, you're probably not even watching this video, right? I mean, let's, let's be honest with each other. People in happy relationships don't tend to turn on the love and romance who's coming toward me videos. <laughs> They're not really attracted to the info that's going to be there because you got what you want. But this is a scenario that's saying whatever it is that's frustrating you, whatever the thing, whatever it's making you suffer, including if it is a relationship, it's not, it's going to be over soon. This is a finite 
thing. This is not something that's meant to last forever. And I think that you guys need to know it. You need to know it. If it's not working or if it's not what you want, it's going to come to an end. Whether or not you're the one that does it, they do it, or something else does it. The bottom line is there is an ending that's coming here. It does not have to be a bad thing. In fact, I feel a tremendous amount of peace and also re release, like relief. There's a sense in this moon of, oh, it just wasn't meant to be. That's what it is. And that could, like I said, for many of you who are single means that you're not going to be single for much longer. It wasn't meant to be. You're not supposed to live your life alone. True love. This love is once in a lifetime. How would it be you, Scorpio? It would be you to get this fucking set of this this set of cards. Why? Because of the contrast of the of the high def contrast in you. That's why. So maybe you're the ones that will only the one you're the only ones that will understand this. So this could be speaking to many different scenarios, and because this is a general reading, I am going to share them all with you. The first scenario is this is the love of a lifetime. This is a whirlwind romance. This is sex that's amazing. This is bottle rockets going off. This is drama and craziness that you just can't get enough of, but it's not going to last. It's not going to last. That kind of thing was meant to burn hot, burn fast, and burn out. So it's going to be over. It's going to be over as quickly as it came, but Jesus, you'll probably be comparing it to other people forever. Or this is a scenario of, like I said, for those lucky singles, you're not going to be single much longer. You have a true love coming in. You have a true romance. This period in your life is about to end. It's about to end because the person that you've been dreaming of and wanting and wishing for is about, it's, a, it, it's about to pop off. And we'll get more into that over in the extended, right? In the extended video. Um, this is also the scenario of closing out an old cycle so that you can allow in what you've always wanted. And I feel like there's a sense of some of you have still held on. Some of you are still in a situation where it's an okay relationship and you don't want to let go of it or you're waiting for them to break up with you or, you know, you, you really haven't been honest with yourselves, not for bad reasons. But if you haven't been honest with yourselves in terms of this isn't fulfilling, this isn't, I know there's something else out there. So maybe this is a sense of you need to let go in order for the real deal to come in because the real deal is out there for you. And I think that that's just the truth. No matter how long it lasts, remember longevity is not a benchmark of quality. You know, you could be with somebody for two days and live a lifetime in those two days. You have to let it happen. That's the point. You have to let that moment happen. And you have to let expectation of that moment go. Does it have to last forever? Was it meant to last forever? Does it only mean something if it lasts forever? No. This is a sense of you need to let this moment go. But don't forget it for a moment though. Thank you, Stephen Sondheim. That's a quote from Into the Woods. Let the moment go, but don't forget it for a moment though. Something is about to end. This rose-colored glasses, la vie en rose time period, it's about to come to a close. And shit's about to get real. But you know what? Real is sexy. And I really do feel like there is this intense circumstance just waiting for you. This high contrast, major vitality, but major... Um, virility but also conflict there's a lot of that high drama it's coming in it's coming in it's coming toward you or if you're already in it i just feel like it's about to end there's something here that will not last long but oh my god has it burned hot while it was around but here's the trick, Scorpio. It's a trick for all of us water signs, I gotta say. Have you been holding on to something that was meant to be a moment and you tried to make it a forever? Be honest with yourself. If you're not honest with yourself, the moon's about to step in and get honest for you. Just an FYI. I love you guys. I'll, I'll see you over on the extended. Now we have Sagittarius. Sag, 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 here we go. Message for you, your commitment is being tested. Ah, 
Sagittarius. Or what is the strain? Your commitment to what? If you're single, are you just committed to staying single? And you've met somebody that's so hot, you don't want to be single anymore? You let me know. The comments are below. Is it that, is it that mentality? But your commitment is being tested. So if for people who are in commitment, let's go with the most literal sense of this card. If your commitment is being tested, it could very well be, do you really want to be with this person? Or just the two of you are going through tough times right now, not necessarily even with each other. For me, this is the vibe of a lot of freaking pressure. Do you see? To me, I always see like an elf carrying a sack. It's like somebody's got a lot of baggage on their back. And it's putting strain on your relationship, as any relationship would, would do. It would happen with any relationship, right? Don't give up on them. I'm not saying that the relationship is over, but there is an extra strain on your relationship because there's an extra trauma or hardship, an extra burden that you guys have to carry for now. So you hold tight to each other. You trust in each other. You trust in the love that you have for each other. Okay? And you keep moving forward. Sagittarius, think about this as a backpack on your back on a beautiful journey. And remember, the best journeys are filled with conflict. The best journeys are filled with tests. Right? The most famous journeys. What if I can like Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Star Wars. The most famous journeys always have conflict, man. Right? So this is just one of those times where you're going to have to, you know, like, like, uh, like, what is it? Batter down the hatches or whatever that expression is. I know. Um, secure, like, just secure yourselves in. Like, hold on tight and keep moving and keep bearing this burden because it's going to be okay. You know, this is a part of commitment. This is a part of long-term relationships. That I think few people ever pray, oh, I always want a relationship, but then do you really? Because they're hard. They're work. So if you don't want work, don't say you want a relationship, because that's what they are. <laughs> Hello. So just to let you know that this is all part and parcel to being in a long term. This is, could be also part and parcel. How committed to you are, are you to being single? You say you want to be, but somebody might be coming into your life that is quite tempting for you, Sagittarius. That is so tempting, they'll make you rethink. Do I really want to stay single? How committed to what you say you're committed to are you this coming weekend, Sagittarius? Love is all around you. Oh, okay. Your ass is thinking of cheating. <laughs> it's so funny how the second card changes everything. Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around and it's really making things hard on you, if you know what I'm saying. This is telling me that there's a lot of temptation in the air this coming weekend. Over the next course of the next weekend, between next weekend and the weekend after, there's going to be major temptations for you. So do you really want to be married? Do you really want to be engaged? Do you really want to be in this long term? Because there's going to be lots of partying going on, getting your party on. That's what's going to happen. And Sagittarius, I know that you like to get your flirt on. I know that you like to get your flirt on when it comes to there's lots of options around. There's a lot of flirtation. There's a lot of social life going on. This is a sense of, yeah, this could be, this, this is blatant temptation on your commitment. This is blatant strain on your commitment because there's a lot of sexiness that's floating around you and you've been thinking of picking some up and tasting the berries, the juicy sweetness that is around you. That's the sense this coming week, especially for couples that are being tempted. I'm going to love to see who's coming toward with you that can make you feel so tempted. That would be very interesting. So who is coming towards you? That is below Sagittarius. That link is below. Who is that temptress? Who are those people that are coming towards you to make you question something that you thought you wanted? That's interesting. Now, it could also be for those of you who are in long-term, very committed relationships, the sense of even though there's a burden on your relationship right now, there's tremendous amounts of love swimming around you and it could be what helps you stand firm and stand strong and stand tough in that relationship and the fact that you're every time you're in the presence of this person, you just feel so warm. 
you feel so cared about, you feel so cared for, that even though times are hard and you have like heavy weights on your shoulders, their love and their consistency is what's getting you through it. So for a smaller group of you, that's really what, that's what you're going to be feeling is there's this, no, I don't want to leave the person that I'm in love with. I totally love them. It's actually their love swimming around me at all times that is making this burden even bearable. So two different readings of those cards, both could be effect, affecting different sets of Sagittarius. I have to say, if I had to choose, it's probably like 90%, 10%. But um, there is a percentage there, a strong percentage out there that is actually just sort of basking in the love that is around them from their partner just because, you know, the, the burden's heavy right now. And that's, it's what's getting you through it. It could also be, I'm hearing this for a very small group of people, it could also be that sense of a third party situation. You know, are you ready for that level of your commitment to, to each other? Is that a burden that the two of you can handle? A third party situation or bringing a third party into the bedroom that conversation could come up this coming weekend Sagittarius just to let you know just to let you know let's move on to Capricorn Capricorn craziness craziness in my life okay. luck is on your side Capricorn damn Capricorn what did I say this was going to be a very good season for you and if you've aimed and fired at love you can expect that arrow to hit its target you could also expect to be the target of somebody's interest this is definitely luck is on your side where have you aimed your arrow lately Capricorn it's gonna land it's gonna just whoop slip right in so take aim take direction Set intentions starting next weekend, especially around the full moon. Let go of any of that old crap that's getting in your way. There is something, there's love coming towards you. This is the Cupid's arrow. It's coming towards you or you're, you're meeting somebody that is going to like spark your interest and ignite your fires and really excite you. Somebody that, that is, is going to excite you and stir those feelings again. If you're in a long-term relationship, this is a sense of hitting your target with your spouse. It could be baby making, but it could also be you making them feel good or you bought them a gift. This is, this is listen, this is Capricorn season, right? There's a lot of birthdays coming around, right? So this is, somebody may be hitting the target when it comes to you know, you, you're either a cross watcher watching this for their Capricorn or you as the Capricorn, like, yeah, like my, my significant other really got their stuff together this time around. They really, they really hit it right. Mm. Mm. I heard that. They really hit it right. Somebody is hitting it right. This because it's coming weekend. Somebody is hitting it right. So depending on what I pick up on this other card, and as we just learned from the Sagittarius, that could change the meaning like this. But this is a sense of something hitting its mark and luck being like, let your arrow fly this coming weekend. Uh, um, the this coming weekend, Capricorn, because it's going to land where you want it to go. Things are going to go your way. This is a good coming week, coming this week, and this is a good time to take a risk and take a chance. Even though I know you guys don't like it, but somebody is aiming and firing. And if it's you, your target's going to land where you want it to. If it's not you, you're going to have an arrow sticking out of your butt. But who's on the other side? Adonis. This is like that very sexy, sensual time because arrows are phallic symbols. And the new moon is a, a symbol of the womb. So be prepared for a lot of sensuality and sexuality this coming weekend. And it to be just what you need. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Somebody has been watching you. This is my watcher card. This is my stalker card. This is, this is the card of 
somebody took aim. Somebody, either somebody you've had on your mind or somebody has had you on their mind, they're about to connect with you. The connection is about to be made. Like, what? That's really awesome. Like, awesome sauce, Capricorn. It's a little bit creepy that they've been stalking you, but who cares? Because the sex is going to be off point. Let it be, uh, so, sorry, on point. On, you want it off point. On point. The sex is going to be on point. This is definitely a, um, you, you see a target. You have them in your sights with your hungry eyes. Ooh, I just got a song. It's tingling. Seriously, who is this? Well, that's in the extended reading below. It's right below that you can press on the link. I'll let you know. But this is definitely somebody who sights have been set. The target has been set. The arrow is being pulled back as we speak and it's about to be on point. It's about to hit a bullseye, which is probably your tuchus. Land right there in your bum because somebody can't take their eyes off of it. This is can't take my eyes off of you type of energy. And somebody's gonna have razor sharp focus, Capricorn, that is going to be so sensual almost obsessive I do that's the underline that's the one red flag I would kind of warn you of almost obsessive because it's like they've been taking aim for a while you just didn't know it but the sex is going to be on point who is this person who you ask the link is below because I know you want to know Aquarius 2136 2136 for Aquarius let's get into this have to wash the other reading off. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. <sighs> yeah. I'm trying to get the visual in my head. And what I see is you being extra kind this coming weekend. You being extra open hearted and extra understanding. And for you, like if this was Cancerian, I'd be like, watch it, set those boundaries. But Aquarius, this is good for you. This means that you're going to be open, that you're going to be mutable, right? The Virgo energy is mutable energy. Very open to a relationship this coming weekend. Giving somebody the benefit of the doubt, making the first move, being open-minded. This is you being ready for a new romance. A new love. This is you letting the world know, I'm open, I'm ready to receive. But you have to be active in it. This is about you being able to be the one that opens up the conversation to fill up your new moon energy. This, It's not a new moon, it's a, it's a full moon that we're going to be um, dealing with uh, on the 10th. Full moon in Cancer. With a lunar eclipse. Good Good luck to everybody. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> From a Cancerian moon, I gotta say, good luck to everybody. But this Aquarius is really that energy of you being open to new possibilities. And you know, there's intellect behind it. There's intent. It's also you listening to somebody. Because Virgo energy is mercurial. It's very uh, um, communications oriented. But this is about the receiving end of communication. So you could have the, the, the instance this weekend where you need to listen to somebody. You need to hear them out. Let them say what they need to say, even if you didn't formally want it. There is a positive vibe and a positive karma that's being set. And just let them, let them talk. Let them hear what they have to say. It's also about hearing what things hearing be being willing to listen where you normally wouldn't so you're going to have more patience this coming weekend than you normally would have patience for people's peculiarities patience for not peculiarities not that you wouldn't be fascinated by the peculiar but things that would have normally annoyed you won't really annoy you you'll find yourself being in a very calm state of mind where you can actually just listen 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 Time to give rather than take. You're going to have to initiate this. This, if For those of you who are singles, you, you need to initiate. But it's almost like you're giving them your time. You're giving them your patience. 
You're giving them your acceptance. That's what you're giving because it's a very nurturing energy. But it's also, you may have to come home with some flowers. Show love. This is a really good time to demonstrate love is what I'm saying. That it's, 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 it's the perfect timing for you to be the one that takes the risk and makes the first move. Go up and talk to somebody. If you're interested in them, make sure they know that you're interested in them. Make sure that you've shared your interest with them. That, they, that, that you haven't kept it to yourself and bottled things up. Because that won't get you anywhere. This, listen, divine timing, right? This reading is coming out to prepare you for next weekend. Understand this, Aquarius. Being open and making that first move, even though that's normally what you would not do, it's going to serve you this coming weekend. Romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. You could not have two more compatible signs because Virgos absolutely lavish the people that they care about with attention, affection, good meals, gifts, all of those things. So this is your time to get your romance on. And Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Virgo. That's a little bit of an insight into who's coming towards you. That link is below, Aquarius. But there is that energy of you really bringing on the romance, you being the conduit, you being the person. This will be a great weekend for you to turn your romance energy on. Just let it fly. Let it come out. Give gifts. Give affection. Give attention. You know, rub their ass as you pass them while they're washing dishes. Like, this is the energy of this is a good time to let your good side out and to pay somebody else that attention and affection. It could take you a very long distance and a very long, it'll get you into something good. That's what I'm saying. This is a great time to be the one who makes that first move or makes the moves in general. And oh, like while you give, you open yourself up to receiving. You have to understand that. That giving is a way to open yourself up to receiving. So maybe that's the reminder that you need because you're, you're good at giving. But have you always been good at receiving? Because there's an other side to that receiving. So when, in other words, yes, make the first move. But now be willing for what's, be open to what's coming back at you. All right. So it's not just about your moves. It's about how your moves inspire somebody else and allowing that person to be inspired and accepting their inspiration and accepting their advances, their, their reciprocity. It's about reciprocity. Aquarius. Mm. Mm. Action. Uh, Pisces. We have Pisces at 2747. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces energy. What do I have for you? Wow, there's fate coming to you. Surrender to the divine. Let go. It let. This is a full moon card, so this is let go. Let go of the reins. Let go of your fears. Let go of your emotions. The Cancer full moon is going to be a super moon with a um an eclipse, a lunar eclipse. So there's always going to, almost going to be this sense coming up next weekend of, of um, your feelings being in the dark. No, let go. Whatever feelings were hidden, whatever feelings you kept hidden, let it go, Pisces. Let it out. Whatever fears you had, let it go, Pisces. Let it out. There is a sense of something is getting in your way. You're blocking your own abund abundance. This is also a sense of let, let Jesus take the wheel. You're not the one driving here. Let go of any attempts to control your emotions. Let go of your emotions. Let them out. Let them be honest. Um, let go of the fears. Let go of the sadness. Let go of the past disappointments. This is a releasing energy, a cathartic energy that is going to heal your soul and be absolutely necessary for you to receive what's on the other side of this. And that's why I think I'm making such a big deal about this because there is something on the other side of you letting go. And I want you to know that it's phenomenal. Receive with love and appreciation, gracious accept. What did I say? Two cards, beautiful, beautiful energy. You have got to make space for something new. Receive, it could be let go in terms of forgive somebody. 
They could be asking for your forgiveness. Accept their forgiveness and let go of maybe the relationship. Maybe you uh, an apology that you've needed to hear for a long time could be coming into you this coming weekend, Pisces. That would be a sense of accepting and then releasing. Accepting an apology to release that hurt, release that tension. This could also be accepting an offer to release something old, something that's getting in your way. I talked about that block from the beginning and didn't I say to you, something wants to come into you. There's something trying romantically to come to you, but you're blocking it. You're blocking it with old passions, old energy. And it's not about just release. It's about give over the control to somebody else. This could just be accept somebody else taking the lead, accept somebody else taking the reins, accept somebody else's emotions. Like you're surrendering to the divine and you're opening yourself up to what the divine has to send you. But be very flexible and be very mutable this coming weekend. This is an energy into, into the week after. This is an energy of <sighs> accepting what the divine is sending to you. There is fate here involved, Pisces. <clears throat> there will be an offer coming in from something that is absolutely your next step on your destiny. And since this is a romance reading, I can only understand that this has to do with leading you toward where you need to go to meet who you want to meet or who you were meant to meet. This is an intervention from the divine that's going to hand you. They could hand you the new person. It could also just be the new, some information or a new opportunity to get to the next step. This is the divine intervening with you. Pisces, trust it. Hold it, accept it, and open up your hands for it because this is meant to be. Ooh, that is some major... Now, what is coming towards you? That link, Pisces, is below. I would be curious to know. But, of course, it's my video. <laughs> 3206 Aries. Let's get into this. Aries, Aries, Aries. Show the world the real you. Tell the truth, Aries. Let go of whatever it is that you've been holding on. This coming weekend is going to be essential for you to open up the truth about who you are, to release whatever things you've been holding back, to show the world what you really are, to show your partner what you really are. The real you is going to attract the real partner you're supposed to be with. And I do have this energy of maybe you haven't been, been being completely honest, but there is this energy that 100% this coming weekend, you're not going to be able to hold back from the honesty. It's just something that you're going to have to allow because it's the time. It's the right time. Karmically, it's, an, it's essential. Just to be truth. Tell the truth. Be honest. Show who you really are, either to your partner. Show them who you really are. Who you really are. Not the person who you are to keep, to hold on to them. But you need to show them who you really are. This is also public recognition. You getting some public recognition. You coming into the forefront of, but see, that's not what we're talking about, is it? No, we're talking about romance. It could be, you know, um, yeah, it really is coming out of a proverbial closet. Could be like that literal areas of showing people that you're not interested in what you've been saying that you've been interested in. Whoever it is, whether it's a gender thing, a sexual thing, or maybe it's just a personal thing of your personal interest. The energy next weekend is you need to show who you really are to the world at large when you go out so that you can actually meet somebody that you actually want to be with or to the partner that you're with. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Oh my God. Yeah, this is gearing you up. It's telling you you've got to be sincere. Right here and right now. In other words, this is telling me something is going to push you into letting out who you really are. And it's divine timing and it's divine intervention and it's absolutely something that's meant to be. So for better or worse, what it's going to be is something that inspires you to be exactly who you are. It could be just great music and the DJ is on point this coming weekend when you're out at the club and you just go hog wild crazy on the dance floor because that's what you are. 
it could be something like that, but something is, there's an impetus, right? There's a catalyst to set you off, to, to come out and be exactly who you are. So this is something that has been sort of lurking underneath the depths and it's coming out. It's coming out. It could be sharing your emotions, your real emotions with somebody, but there is something that's going to push you to that point. It, yeah, it, it's there's something from the outside that is inspiring this need, this um, floodgate opening. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. You're just gonna spill the truth, spill the beans. It's truth, truth, truth. Spill it and let it all out and let it all go. It's so interesting how this card comes out. Every situation is an opportunity to grow. You're either growing deeper in love with somebody or you're showing your true self to them and it's going to release you from a relationship that isn't really for you. And I've been getting this feeling a lot lately for you, Aries, and that's the truth. It's like, what are you holding on to when there's better stuff waiting to come in? Or it could just be, why are you pretending you're not into this? When you could be in love, you could fall in love. What I'm saying is the sincerity that is going to be forced out of you next weekend is going to lead to your deeper, more truer, realer state. It's either going to break up a relationship or it's going to help it make it deeper. Who is coming towards you? That link is below, Aries. I hope you join us. Me. I'm not a plural. I hope you join me. All right. Let's go. 3636, Taurus. Taurus energy. Let's see what's in for you guys. Look at the bigger picture. Ooh. What is this bigger picture that you, that you seek? This is take aim and fire. This is release your arrow, aim. This is a good weekend to do it. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. They got the opposite energy. They got the reception end of this card. So this card is aiming your arrow and releasing it and you could be sending it right into the backside of a Capricorn. I don't know, but this is definitely the energy of something is about to pop off. Something is about to happen, but look at the bigger picture. In other words, maybe you need to broaden and expand your bullseye in order to really get what you want, Taurus, right? It could be just open up your mindset so that you have a broader, more expanded understanding of right and wrong. It could be that you are conflicting with the person that you're really into because of political ideology or, or ethical ideology or some sort of cultural, you know, ideology that's getting in your way broaden your brain this coming weekend into next weekend broaden it broad open yourself up and let that target be larger it's easier to strike a larger target it could just mean for uh, um for taurus singles that you have to expand your range that could be why you're not getting what you want taurus it could be you have to broaden your idea you have to broaden what you're what you're aiming at because you're, you're probably aiming at too small a section. You're being too specific. You're being too tight and not letting enough of that flexibility and spirit come in to work with you and co-create with you. You're just not allowing it. Too stubborn, too shut down, Taurus, to actually hit a mark that you'll want to stick your arrow in. I want to see what's on the other card. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. This is about listening. This is about receiving. This is about um, letting go of your need to be on target and be right. And just paying attention to somebody else's needs. And worrying about them and putting them first. It could actually be taking... This is a very earth energy. This is an energy that's very similar to yours. You could be dealing with a, a Virgo. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Because like I said, they got, the, this, they got the counterpart to this card. They got the new moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. This is about you falling in love with somebody or seeing something in somebody that wasn't your type. What do you really want though? I already feel like this, in, in, in a way that there's already this love affair starting, Taurus. 
So you already have what you want in your sights, but it's almost like, oh, is that for me though? And that's where you need to expand and broaden. Why, why, why wouldn't it be for you? Are they plain? Do they hide themselves? Do they not dress well? Because I know you guys love your glamour. But is that the problem? What's keeping you from what could be this amazing human being to welcome into your life? Because there's some sort of conflict between your tiny, tiny bullet point, you know, that tiny, tiny bullseye. There's a difference between this tiny, tiny bullseye brought in your mind. You're going to hit the bullseye if you brought in your mind, because this is about seeing something in somebody that you normally wouldn't see because you brought in your mind. Who? Who is coming towards you? That link is below Taurus. I hope to see you over there because this is really interesting, especially since this person would not be somebody who is normally on your list of to-dos. It is somebody that you may have passed over. Or like I said, they could have quirks about their character that normally you've been like, no, that's not on my list. But this is about you. This side of the reading is about you, not about them. It's about broadening your mind. If you want to meet that right partner, you want to be the right partner, you're going to have to set that target a little bit broader, which is expanding how you think with that Sagittarius energy, that philosophical big picture energy, how you see people and what you value in them has to expand. And that mentality is going to serve you best for love and romance, whether you're in a committed relationship or there's a new relationship potential. Broadening your mind is going to serve you best this coming weekend, this Next weekend, next weekend. 41, 40, this is Gemini. Gemini energy. <sighs> the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. And it's funny because I just heard, I was like, I, I felt, because I, I said 4140, and I was like, oh, it's Gemini. They're the twins. I should do 4141. But I'm like, no, no, it's still 40. There's something that's happening, Gemini. There's something that's building. A new relationship or a new modality that is uh, opening you up and making you bloom and just ripening you. There's a ripening that's happening here. It could be a ripening in a relationship that you've just started. This could be, it's getting deeper. Something is coming. It's one of my favorite cards in the deck because it's so extraordinarily beautiful. It's so pretty. All those different tones, those different shades of purple, those different hues that match each other and belong on that same color spectrum. It's getting deeper and deeper. It's, it's, it's like, it's like how, it's like almost an infinite amount of possibilities. It's deepening. It's getting, it's getting realized. There is an energy of the, the primary message being this new relationship that you just started, Gemini, it's getting more serious. It's deep. The love is deepening. The commitment is deepening. The, the sense of yourself in the relationship is deepening. Um, it's becoming fuller, more three-dimensional, more realized. If you are in a long-term relationship, there is a sense of having deeper, deeper support or going in deep and telling somebody the truth or something that the two of you guys were working on together. Actually, you're starting to see it in fruition. Now, that isn't exact. It's not exactly love related, but it is love related, isn't it? Because it's through your commitment to each other that you're making progress on a project that you can both care about. So it's your love and your connection to each other that's actually moving things forward outside of your love and your commitment to each other. And that's really beautiful as well. Either way, Gemini, this is an intensifying. The energy is gaining momentum. You're not slowing down anytime soon. And I don't think you want to. I feel like this energy really coming from you. There is a sense of, I don't want this to stop. I don't want this to slow down. This is exactly where I want to be. This is exactly who I want to be with. This is an energy of, I want to not only keep it going, you see a future with this person. You see your future. You see a future with this person. You want a future. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. This is feminine energy. This is receiving, this is home, this is domesticity, 
What I say, your connection and your momentum towards something that is stable, that is based, founded in the home, founded in the heart, founded in receiving this energy. Of, this could also be finding out you're pregnant too. A pregnant or a pregnancy going well and gaining momentum or you know your fertility treatments gaining momentum this is an energy because this is a very sexual card it's a very womb based card so this is the energy of the seed is about to be dropped in the womb this is an energy of protecting and being home you're gonna have a very homey weekend Gemini this coming weekend it's going to be very homey, very, I want to be with you. I want to be near you. I want it to just be the two of us or this energy of finding somebody who actually wants to receive you, of finally finding a subject of interest for this momentum that you have been creating. But this is also receiving somebody picking up what you're putting down, Gemini. That's I just saw 45, 45. This is divine counterparts. So this is somebody picking up what you're putting down. A hundred percent. And it's just going to keep rolling. It's just going to keep going. And I, I have a feeling like there's just this wonderful sense of I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's working. It's working. Maybe a relief after a long relationship that didn't work out. You finally found someone that makes you feel at home. Makes you feel secured. Makes you feel like you want to stick around for a while interesting who is that person who is coming towards you that link is below because mm. i know you want to know and i actually can't like seriously gemini you could probably be like i don't need to know <laughs> if you want to know the link is below um 4632 cancerian <sighs> cancerian open up my heart open up my mind our, our full moon is coming soon. Expect to be moody because it's a big one for moods. It's time to take action. This is new moon in Aries. You want to receive? You got to go after it. This is about you making the first move, Cancerian. This is about you being aggressive. Like letting your aggression out. And not doing that like sidestepping motion goes going straight forward it. This is, but it's a new moon. It's time to take action. Something new wants to come into your life, Cancerian, but you're the one that has to be the catalyst. The momentum has to come from you, but it's a great time to do it. Cancerian, this is a wonderful time for you to take the first steps. This is a wonderful time for you to take the first move. This is an energy that's saying you have to or nothing's going to happen to you. And if you really, really, really want love, then you've got to go after it. Not just make it a priority, but believe in yourself. Like have the certainty because Aries is the first, it rules the first house, right? Aries is that strong sense of self. Believe in yourself, believe in your own beauty, believe in your worth, believe in your intentions enough to just kick it into fucking high gear and make that want you to. Go get them, Cancerian. You've got to be aggressive. This coming weekend, between this coming weekend and next weekend, Cancerian, if you're not aggressive, you could completely and totally lose what really matters to you. You need to put you first and be you out loud. Because if you're not you out loud, people are going to either dump you, brush over you, wash over you, and not pay attention to you. And it's going to leave you lonely in the corner again. You've got to get aggressive. You've got to be get, get that Aries fire on. Let it ignite your belly and explode out of your mouth. That doesn't even have to be words. It could be just smiles. It could be just flirting blatantly with somebody. It, you've, got to, you've got to be as confident as an Aries over the next two weekends. You have got to be. And I felt like I got a similar energy for you last week's reading too. If the momentum is there, Cancerian. You've got to create your own destiny. You are the king and you are the master. What do you want? Who are you really? You've got to be who you really are. You've got to be true to yourself and you've got to be aggressive. Be aggressive. You've got to. It's just the, the, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Cancerian, you might have been distracted lately. 
And definitely, if you've been distracted lately, your partner is feeling it because they don't like being ignored. But this is also, I think you've been missing the target. You've been misunderstanding that loving somebody is being aggressive toward them. Like they want you, they want to feel you coming through. They want to feel the power of your character. And the fact that you shut down and get really, really, oh, what do you need? Oh, what do you need? You know, like that pleasing energy, that's bullshit. The reason you get that way is because you don't really believe in them. You don't really believe in who they are. You don't really, really even believe that they want you. So this is an energy of you have got to get back to that confidence and you've got to just be aggressive. This is what I want. This is my idea. Let's do this. Let's do that. Baby, I'm taking you right now, right up against this counter, right in this bathroom of the restaurant we're in. There's got to be this energy of be so focused on love. You get distracted by your fears and you just literally gung-ho target, aim, and fire. What I love about this card is the hidden hand. There's almost like a divine holding up a beautiful opportunity for you. Do you realize it, Cancerian? Do you realize the beautiful opportunity that is coming your way this coming weekend? Know it. Know that it's there. Understand that the divine has really put, is holding this target in place for you. They're holding it up for you. They're handing it to you. They're giving it to you. So go for it. Just go for it. Cancerian. Who's coming towards you and who are you aiming at? That link is below. Be interesting to know because it could be the energy of that person that's intimidating you to the point where you feel like shutting down. But that's a bunch of BS. Step up. It's on you. Leo. 5141. Leo. 5141, Leo. The extended reading for who is coming toward you, Leo, is down below. The link is below, just so you know. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. This is not the energy I expected. We're having a full moon in cancer. This is about all is well. So if you have been in doubt of a circumstance or a situation, if you've been doubting a person, all is well. If you have been feeling like, oh, I'm always going to be single, all is well. This is a sense of finding a home, finding where you belong and finding a space where you feel comfortable so that you don't have to worry about being left behind, being broken up with. You can release your fears and your anxieties. Why do you have to release your fears and anxieties, Leo? To be open for receiving a true love, a gentle love, an emotional love, an energy that is very contradictory to you, an energy that is very different from the energy you would normally be attracted to. But this is an energy of being on the receptive end, of opening yourself up to being okay, being at home, maybe being a little bit um, subdued this coming weekend. No, that's not what this is. This is new love. New love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. There is an unexpected opportunity in love that's going to hit this target. This coming week, and I, you know, this reading doesn't have to be long. It's the extended reading that's going to really be interesting because who is this new love coming towards you? But Leo, this is a sense of something really hitting the target, hitting you this week, hitting you hard. And this is since cancer is such a loving sign and it's so partner oriented, this there, it could be a Cancerian that you're falling in love with or that's going to come towards you. This is that energy, but this is definitely energy of a love that is, that is divine in that it wants to care for you. It wants to nurture you. It wants to be all about you or vice versa. And a good relationship would be vice versa, right? It would be that energy of of um, somebody that you're interested in, in being there for, this is a new opportunity in love. This is you opening up your heart and maybe finding it closer to home than you ever would have expected to or whatever home is to you. Sometimes home isn't a place, Leo. Sometimes home is a feeling. Home is an activity. This is, you could be meeting this person at work. Uh, I, I, that's what it says on the card. Um, 
a, a new opportunity for love in your work, in your work prospects. But for the romance reading, this is you meeting somebody while you're at work. Home could be, you could be at home when you're at work. You could be at home doing what you do. It's, it's what you love the best, uh, Leo. So it is an energy of um, that's where you feel at home. But this is also, I just heard this message, somebody very close to home. An opportunity that's already nearby. An energy of somebody that you already know and feel comfortable with becoming somebody that is bigger, more to you. They're more to you than just a friend. New love is dawning on somebody that you already feel extremely comfortable with. Oh, I love that energy. Now, this is a wish come true for you, Leo. It's a wish come true. You see that star is falling into her hands? The wish is coming to you. So what did you wish for? Be careful what you wish for because this is an energy of it's closer than you think, so you're going to get it. What have you asked for? What have you been manifesting? This is somebody that is very close to you already. Somebody that's already hit the mark. Somebody that's very like you. Maybe they, like I said, they work in the same place so they have the same interests as you. But this is feeling so comfortable with that person that you feel like you're at home with them. And that could be, if you're meeting somebody new, the energy that is um, most prevalent to you when you meet them. Like, I already know you. I already know you. I, it's, it's like you're, you're everything so much about you is already so familiar to me. Ooh, Virgo. We're happening upon Virgo. 5622, Virgo. Let's get into your energy. Okay. Meditate and contemplate. You need to slow down and have patience with something. And there is, this, I'm taking this energy because I just did one of your readings, one of your weeklies. There is an energy regarding love that is meditate and focus and heal yourself and really get real with your emotions, but in a healing way. In a healing way, a sense of you need to take time out to be okay with what's in your life right now because there's a lot. There's a lot of emotion. This is going to be a very emotional full moon. A lot of emotions are going to come up over the full moon. This doesn't have to be what breaks you. It could be what makes you stronger, Virgo. It is, if you're, especially if you're um, uh, in a relationship, this or just started a new relationship, this could be it getting emotionally deeper. The first time that you've been really emotional and had some conflict with the person because you thought they were so perfect, even the perfect person is imperfect, okay? This is about adjust, like not adjusting, but like, but like going through the motions of emotion, of feeling comfortable with what you're feeling. You could have been denying for the longest time that you wanted somebody, that you were in love with them. And now you just, you need to get real with those feelings inside of you and put that first. And the way that you're going to do this is for a romantic tarot reading, this is like spend some time by yourself, spend some time away, not a breakup but uh, get real with myself. Like that energy of, I gotta get real. I gotta be real, I gotta be true to myself. I gotta get real with myself. I, I've gotta do this. You know, I need this space to, you, you're not taking a break, Virgo. You're taking space to understand everything that's swarming around you because it's a lot. It's gonna be a very emotional weekend coming up. This is, like I said, that full moon in Cancer is going to affect you intensely going to be a very very emotional weekend week for you Virgo for some reason there's a lot of emotion coming out around this ne up to next week like starting next weekend it's it's coming it's out there it's on the horizon so this is all about what's real what are you really feeling getting comfortable with those emotions to a point where you don't have to run from them or feel unsafe around them ah get to know each other and what did I say in the beginning of the reading Learn to meet each other's need for love. This could be that. For, this is a. This could be a deepening of your relationship. This is an energy of getting to know somebody's true feelings, getting to know somebody's heart, their soul, getting to know uh, their fears. This could be the first time that you're actually emotionally getting to know something. Of, I'm. I'm just hearing Pisces, big time Pisces energy coming through for you, Virgo. You definitely are probably dealing with a water sign. This is the maturing of your love starting to happen. 
don't know why this isn't focusing. You see that card? They're not newbies at this. This is a mature love coming into your life. And this is emotional maturation of your relationship or emotional maturation of you so that you can prepare to be in a relationship. Like remember that, that quote of everybody prays, God, please send me somebody. And what? No, but, but nobody's out here praying, God, please prepare me to be with somebody, please prepare me to be a husband or wife. Everybody is praying for a husband or wife, but nobody's out here praying, please prepare me to be a husband or wife. So this is the energy of being real with each other's emotions, respecting each other's emotions, preparing for what it takes to be in that long-term relationship or being in that long-term relationship and getting to spend some really emotional time with that person who you're going long-term with and getting to know them deeper, accepting and receiving and listening, getting comfortable with their emotions, getting comfortable with them being emotional and vice versa, because there's reciprocity here. There's a maturity here that is only like, there's a reciprocity here that's only found in maturity. So there's going to be a lot of emotions, but you being accepting of it, you receiving of it and deepening a relationship or the prospects for a new relationship because you have allowed yourself to be okay with what you feel be okay with what you feel I do just I think like this is almost the energy of 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 um allowing yourself to fall in love allow it because it's a perfect weekend for it Ooh, all right, Libra, Libra, Libra. We've come full circle on the wheel um, at 18 seconds. Let's do this. Not 18 seconds for you guys, but 0, 1, 18. <gasps> Libra. Oh, damn, Libra. Good news, babies. This is you. A new start is coming. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my God, I love this. This is coming out to next weekend, into, ne into the weekend after. So you're talking about this could be coming next to the new moon. Be manifesting, be ma a new start, a new start, a new partner, a new relationship. You're out of the old one, you're into the new one. If you're in a loving one, then you're probably not even listening to this reading. But Libra, this is the energy of a new relationship is coming, a new start, a new, 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 new freshness, honesty, truth, um, like realness. A new relationship is finally coming into your direction, into your vicinity. The potential for it, the energy for it, it's here. It's I don't know what my dog is looking at, but it's weird. There's this energy of something brand new coming into your life. And I feel like it's something that you've always wanted. I'm extremely excited. Like this news is like, holy shit. This is like, this is out of the blue. I don't think you're even going to know it. I really don't think you're even going to expect it or see this coming. This is going to kind of blow your mind, this energy. But this, look how beautiful this card is. And can I tell you, I've never had this card before. I've never pulled this card before out of this deck. First time, first things for everything. First time for everything. And this is your first time. It could literally be your first time. If you're in a relationship already, it could be your first time having sex with your new partner. It could be your first time because you're still a virgin. Um, it's something brand new is happening to you. This is a new phase and a new chapter in your life. And it's really beautiful and really expansive. Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. So this also could be for couples of seeing things from a new perspective, right? Of not just it being a new person, but this is like the couple's energy coming in where it's not just a new prospect for love, but it's seeing things in a different way so that you are comprehensive and understanding. And that's going to give you and your partner a fresh start, a new beginning, a renewal of your love, a deepening of the love. If you could just be understanding and compassionate, but this is also, I'm telling you right now, a new start because you're compassionate. Through compassion, you're going to lead to a new love prospect. Could be you're doing charity, charity work, you're getting involved with your community. Something that you do that helps to heal others and helps to help others is leading to 
your new love. It's leading to romance coming into you. It's leading Libra, your compassion, your sense of understanding, your ability to see both sides of the circumstance and situation. This, that is what is going to lead to you finding this new love. It's your compassion is going to be what attracts somebody. Your compassion is going to be your ability to relate to the smaller things, to listen, to open your heart, to understand, to empathize. All of those things are what's going to attract somebody to you and guide them directly to you, Libra. It's this compassion. It could be, like I said, involved in a compassionate thing, a compassionate act, an act of compassion, an act of understanding, an act of open heartedness. This is really coming through hot and heavy for you. It is going to like, it's the breakthrough. It's the breakthrough. It's what's going to lead somebody to you attract somebody to you it could be vice versa where you're attracted to their compassion you're contracted you're contracted you're maybe you're signing a contract i don't know but you're attracted to their open-heartedness to their ability to love somebody else and and be able to be compassionate to them and, and help and, and want to make a situation better this is that energy that energy of compassion being at the core of what makes you attractive and what is attractive to you over the next two weekends. So that is some big energy. Who is coming? Who is this wonderful person that's coming towards you, Libra? That link is below. That is who's coming towards you. That's actually a really interesting reading for you. It's almost a necessity because who is coming? Who is this wonderful person? If you're curious, that link is below. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this reading. Every single week I do the romantic tarot and I'm really, really grateful that you guys join me for it, especially if you join me for the full hour. So this is, this is fun. You can pick and choose. You can cross watch. I love this energy. I love a lot of this energy because there's a lot of new starts and new beginnings that's happening. Not that, that, that's, that's going to happen. And clearing out, clearing the way, clearing the way for something exciting to happen. A lot of, a lot of space clearing so that we can actually receive, all right? Um, there was a, full, a new moon in Capricorn, so there's going to be a new moon in Aquarius. Is that what how it works? There's going to be the new moon coming up. Let me check that. I just want to be sure. The new moon coming up for January. January, no, January. Full moon, and where's the new moon? Is in Aquarius. Yep, I was right. Imagine this. Imagine I know something about my own field. Um, yeah, and that's about expanding and broadening our mind. And, ooh, I just got the chills. Libra, if you're still listening, and Aquarius energy is so good for you. Um, it's about compassion. It's about charity. It's about working with others. It's about caring about somebody else. It's about, it's about being involved in the bigger picture. That will guide you to a new love and a new romance. And that's really beautiful energy. And I love it so much. So for those of you who got the energies of clearing out this week, there's a, rece a reception coming on, the, the Janu on January 24th. That's when the new moon energy is coming. Really? That's interesting energy. I love it. I love it. This, the, the idea of receiving, receiving um, during that Aquarian moon. Okay, big downloads and big awakenings. That's all I have to say. I love you guys, and I do hope to see you over on the Vimeo side with the extended link. If you're curious about who's coming towards you, um, get on that. It's, it's, a, it's another full hour reading, so well worth it. I'll talk to you next week.